Hi, hi, Crystal here. Welcome to another video with the Interactive Immersive HQ. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the body tracking chop uh, uh, with NVIDIA body tracking to have it in pops to make this um, graphic look. And as you can see, it's pretty simple, not too many, um, too many operators, but it can create this kind of fun um, look and you can also have it to be a live camera and I'm just using my webcam and it follows me and samples the colors from the camera. So I'm going to show you how uh, I got this result and let's begin. So as always, let's start with a clean network. Um, I changed the FPS to be 30. So um, I recommend doing that too. And I'm gonna s put a video input. Um, and since this is in portrait mode, I'm gonna add a fit and make this to be 1920 by 1080. So 1920 by 1080 and have it to be fit outside. And maybe if you want a um, camera instead, you can do a video device in. I'm also gonna set this to be 1920 by 1080. Great. Um, my camera's on the side, so you see me here, haha. -ha. And I'll add a switch so I can easily switch between the two. Let's put this as one, because I'm gonna use the dance video. And then I'm gonna add a null. And put this as vid input null. And let's put a body tracking chop. So you need a NVIDIA um, graphics card to use a body track, but you can use a, uh, have a reference, a video with a person, people in it, or um, having a webcam camera input. This will allow you not need to have a connect sensor or um, any other kind of, um, body tracking sensors, but if it is a installation, I would still say I recommend using a sensor rather than uh, relying on just a body track chop, but I could be wrong. It might be, I just haven't used it in the whole installation, but uh, once you put it down, you get an error and because it's not need to reference something. So you can drag this onto the top and you can see all these channels with um, looking at the eye, the shoulders, etc. And these parameters, I'm gonna turn off the rotation because I don't need the rotation, but I want to have uh, body 3D. And I will also turn on body tracking because I have uh, people tracking because we have two people. So if I can change the max body to be two. Great. Afterwards, I'm going to add a select and I'm going to select TX, TY, and TZ values. So the channel name, I'll add a TX, a TY, and TZ. And I'll combine all these chops. So I'm gonna add a shuffle and the shuffle as sequence all channels. Great, and now it's one sequence. I'm gonna copy and paste this. So each of these TXTYs, TZ also have a shuffle. Oop. Paste. And then I will merge all these together. Delete one more. 
So all these three are in one and I'm gonna add a null afterwards and call this body chord null. Body chord null. And let's make this into props. Um, I'm gonna just right click and put chop to pop. And look, you already kind of see some lines, skeletons dancing. And on connectivity, you can change it to point prism. And then it's pretty cool. You can see kind of like particles of us dancing. Uh, let's add a trail. This trail, you already see kind of this like lines happening. Um, you can change it to point prism. Um, I'm gonna change it to column, but you can feel free to play around, see how quad looks like. Let's make this kind of like glitchy look. Um, you can decrease the trail head and make the trail uh, length to be 0.36. And I'm going to make all this your off just so it's not just running in the background. Um, I'll make things a little bit faster. Great. Uh, add a null after this. Call this pop null. And uh, connect this to a geometry. Um, after the null, let's add a geometry. And let's set up a render. So I'll do a camera and a light. And for the camera, I'm gonna change the view to be orthographic. Great. Um, and let's do a render top. I'll change this render top to be 1920 by 1080. Awesome. I'll add a null after this. I'll call this out. So I have these lines happening and I want to get the colors from this video input. So I'm gonna add a select. So I can just reference this. Now let's call this vid input select. So I'm gonna move this over here. And after the chop two, I'm gonna add a lookup text. And before just referencing this, I'm gonna add a fit. So it's like a rectangle shape for looking it up. Um, I'll put fit outside and I'll add a level. I don't know. This level. Um, I'll make it the contrast higher, gamma low, and the brightness a little bit high. And I'll just have this, I shall first name this, uh, color text. No. I'm going to reference this top. And for um, output attribute, output color, and look up attribute, I'm gonna put P2. Cool. And I'm 
we're starting to see color in it. Awesome. So let's also, after select, um, I'm going to add a multiply. And have this be the second input. I'm going to add a transform. We have the transform black on. Or, yeah, we can change it to be the video input. So that's pretty much it. So you can play around with different videos, effects that it will do, and um, you can mess with the different composites. So this is a multiply. What if it is uh, used as a dodge or used as a um, brightness? Um, have fun experimenting and feel free to tag the HQ and myself on your results. I'll put my handle in the caption below and until next time, bye. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like our YouTube content, I highly recommend you check out the interactive and immersive HQ Pro. The HQ Pro is the only comprehensive educational resource and community for immersive design, touch designer, and creative tech pros. In the HQ Pro trainings, we cover almost any topic you can think of, and we go way more in depth than we do in our YouTube tutorials. We have a private group where Matthew Reagan, myself, and our other industry veteran and pioneer teachers answer your questions every single day. If that sounds cool, click the link in the description to learn more. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more free touch designer and immersive content.